Hello everyone and welcome to another video here on the Cycling Day and Extra channel of the Tour of Slovenia Stage 3 and we're going to take a look at what happened on today's stage, the 30th edition of the Tour of Slovenia. Fans were out in numbers to once again welcome the Tour of Slovenia, U18 Emirates, a very strong team, the defending team obviously, but we also had Dylan Hoenmengen still in the green jersey with the help of Luzka Meskic of course. But stage three was 173.4 kilometers with three intermediate sprints and quite a rugged profile compared to what we've been having so far. Three categorized climbs along the way and some uncategorized climbs, but the day was waved away and we saw Dylan Hoenewegen in the green jersey, we saw the red jersey, the white jersey as well, but there were smiles everywhere from Jaco Ayula. Two stage wins from two stages was pretty good by them, but the break almost tried to form from the gun as they went up the road, plenty of riders, but it was a far start as we had that categorized two climb, seven riders up the road. We had Iacchi, the Italian, Milna, the German, Christian Koren, the Slovenian national champion, Carlo Riros from Czech Republic, and Viktor Ponokti, the rider who was first in the overall Mantis jersey classification virtually. But Jaco Ayula with the team pushing at the front here with Yolo Kometa also lining up, wanting to try and get something out here. And it was just incredible to see so many fans on the road. With 57 kilometers to go, the deficit was down to 1 minute and 45 seconds. Jaco Ayula very much the team trying to pull this back. And at the front, we were getting a bit of a lively sprint between the riders to win the KOM of the stage. And it looked like it was going to go to the Volaberg rider who took the points overall there. But it was Jekyll Ayula and U18 Memorats who still hadn't gotten anything out of this year's tour. Muschietti as well, who looked very strong, was third overall in the points classification and was very close to nabbing the win yesterday from Dylan Hoenewegen, but it looked like he was in a bit of bother from some of the climbing that had been going on during the day. Jaco Ayula and U18 Emirates were certainly trying to push the pace here, and the breakaway with 36.5 kilometers still had 54 seconds of an advantage, and they really were trying to do their best. The wind was picking up though, and the Peloton were reeling in the breakaway. Bora Hans were even getting to the front as well, wanting to get Eli Schelling involved. U18 Emirates was still content with 16.7 kilometers to try and do something here but on the descent here they were really taking it fast. Phil Bauhaus was struggling to keep the pace here and he was sitting third overall had been up there in the first two stages but it looked like the German wasn't going to be there at the end. We also had Dylan Hoenewegen fighting to stay in contention with 13.2 kilometers from the finish. Was he going to be able to make it and stay here in contention? That was the big question, but gaps were certainly opening up in the peloton. The pace really being set on by some of these teams with no sprinters. Bahrain victorious with Matej Morohej really going for it. Zana covering the move. Carral trying to get up this group as well, but Matej Morohej, we know how strong a rider he is on the descents, on the climbs, etc. But it looked like we were getting a three-man group. Zana and Morohej were joined by Joe Nicolo of Carral, but Ulisi quickly came up to mark the move as well. Daniel Hoenewegen was fighting with 6.8 kilometers to get back in contention. Was he going to make it three out of three stage wins? That was the big question. And with about 6.5 kilometers, they were making contact, the two Jaco Ayula riders, and it looked like Dino Hoenewegen could be on the way to a hat-trick win. Green Project were pushing out in front with 1.4 kilometers to go, and it was really starting to heat up in the last one kilometer. Zana really trying to push on. It looked like for a moment that he was going to try and break away, but this was covered by Green Project, U18 Emirates as well, making sure that they weren't missing out on any vital moves. And Zana, the Italian champion, once again showing his worth as a teammate. However, here we had a roundabout, and that was a very confusing situation. As half the peloton went to the right, the other half went the correct way to the left, and it seemed like the right-hand side of the peloton went the wrong way, and it wasn't actually marked off accordingly unfortunately so a bit of confusion there and unfortunately a crash happened as well because of this confusion so many of the teams caught out by this mess and at the front we had a very elite group and Luka Mesgec unfortunately not with Dylan Hoenewegen but it looked like the Slovenian could potentially get a golden opportunity to take a stage himself plenty of gaps in between but Eli Schelling 
coming at a thundering pace around all these four riders in front of him and it looked like the Dutch rider was almost about to take a win and just thundering past everyone with a sprint but Mezgec looked like he just woke up at the right time and both of them doing a bike throw on the finish and what a finish that was but it looked like it was Edie Schelling who took the victory here on stage three and Luka Mezgec the local in terms of country was unable to do it. The disappointment on De La Hoenewegen's face after fighting so hard to get back was very apparent, but Edie Schelling, what a victory by the Dutch rider. Bit of confusion, he didn't know if he got it. But from the overhead, we can see the four riders in front of Schelling, just looking behind, they're almost by the finishing line. And then from nowhere, Edie Schelling comes with thunderous pace, passes all the four of them. And Luka Mezgic just wakes up and sees this, but he isn't able to get up to a high enough pace to challenge the Dutch rider and just runs out of road just as he's about to catch him on the line. And on the bike throw, Schelling just takes him by, oh, I don't even know, half a wheel, it seems, but... Yeah, incredible riding by Edith Schelling just to capitalize on what was a very chaotic finish to the Tour of Slovenia. But yeah, what a golden opportunity that was for Mezgic and maybe a moment of hesitation just caught him out there. But yeah, what a finish to the stage. And uh, yeah, you can see there, not even half a wheel. It was more like, yeah, oof, very close to say the least between the two riders. But Mezget, he's going to be very sad about that. But here we have the top 10. We have Edi Schelling, as we said, in first place. Then Luca Mezget, then Freudvor from Turo Cycling. Tiza from the Bingo team. And this is the best result so far. Ru Oliveira from UAT Mermits, another top five from them. And then we had our second Slovenian in the top 10, Primoncic from the national Slovenian team. Two girls from the Bingo team. Sok from the Ljubljana team. And then Bingo once again with Dietria and Simon Polo as well. Another Swiss rider inside the top 10. So three Bingo riders, two Tudor riders and quite a heavy pro continental top 10 there. And let's hear from Edith Schelling himself. Yeah, actually I gave up with 1K because I didn't want to crash myself. Because it was dangerous and wet and slippery. So I thought I'm not going to get in the mix for a top 10. But then everyone went the wrong way and I went. It was actually quite funny, I went left. And I got the perfect lead out and I won. I didn't expect because I gave up with even with 600 meters to go. I was maybe last guy of the bunch and then i thought nah, yeah, then i go for it and i won but all the joy is gone immediately But in terms of tomorrow's stage, it's going to be a very hard one to say the least. We've got four Castorized climbs along the way. The last two Castorized climbs are the same ascent of the same climb, 10.1 kilometers long and averaging 8.9%. So it's certainly going to be a very tough proposition for any rider. And I don't think we're going to have Dylan Hoenewegen in the green jersey tomorrow but yeah anyways that's basically it for today make sure to comment down below what you thought of today's stage and who you think is going to be winning on stage four so of course as always thank you for watching subscribe to the channel and i will see you around